Hi, my name is Melissa Pacone, and I'm going to show you how to make this denim patch inside of Photoshop. I'm going to just go ahead and close this. We don't need this. We're going to start a new one from scratch. I'm going to start with a new image, and I want to make it 6 inches by 6 inches at 300 ppi. I'm making it nice and large in case I want to print it. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to choose my custom shape tool just at the bottom of your shape menu here. I'm going to come up to my options bar and I'm going to choose a shape. I ha currently have the Photoshop default shapes loaded up. Choose a heart and I'm going to go ahead and draw myself a heart. And all I'm doing is drawing a path. In your options bar you have three options. You can draw a path which is the center option you can fill pixels or you can make a shape layer and we just want a path so if you come over here to your paths panel you can see I have a work path I'm going to double click on it and I'm going to call it hearts back into my layers I want to create a new layer and I just want to fill this layer I want to fill the heart with pixels so I'm going to come down here to my first icon at the bottom of my paths panel fill path with foreground color and click and I'm going to click off of my heart's path so that it's not distracting and we can see just the heart. Now I want this to look like denim so I'm actually going to apply a layer style. At the bottom of my layers panel is my add a style button. I'm going to choose pattern overlay. Photoshop defaults to these two lovely little patterns. We're going to get a new pattern. Come over here to your flyout menu. Choose patterns two these all ship with Photoshop and I'm going to choose denim and then I'm just going to click OK. Now I'm going to double click on my zoom tool so that we can see it 100% it looks pretty much like denim. I'm going to grab my space bar to get my hand tool and I'm going to come up here to the top of my heart here. I'm going to create a new layer. I need a brush I'm going to create a custom brush up in my brushes options. I'm going to choose the default number five and I'm going to come over here and I want to make a brush that's going to look like it just it's a little piece of thread going around my heart. I'm going to turn off my heart layer with my rectangular marquee tool. I'm just going to grab this little brush here, come up to edit define brush preset and I'm just going to leave the name and click OK. I'm now going to delete this. I don't need it anymore. And Command or Control D to deselect all. Go ahead and turn my heart layer back on. And with my brush tool selected, you can just hit the letter B or select your brush tool. I'm going to come over into my brushes panel. Brush preset and you should see your new brush right down here at the very end. So there's my new brush and I want to start with my brush tip shape. I'm going to increase the spacing so that I can see in between my individual threads here. Click on shape dynamics and first thing I want to do is under my size jitter I want to turn the control off so that it doesn't have those funky ends and I want to bump up my size jitter a little bit until it looks good and I want to add a little bit of an angle jitter and I also want to flip it so that it's going to flip and I just want it to flip up and down so we'll flip on the Y and now that I've done all that I want it to be a little closer together again so I'm going to go back here to brush tip shape decrease my spacing a little bit that looks pretty good I'm going to come down to scattering and I'm going to bump up my scattering just a little bit I don't want it to look too perfect and that's good for now I'm just going to leave that as is. I'm going to close that up. I'm going to come back over to my paths panel, click on hearts to make that active, and I just want to run my brush along my path. At the bottom of my paths panel, I have stroke path with brush, the second icon in. I'm just going to click that. I'm going to back out so that you can see. And this didn't do exactly what we wanted to do. It looks a little funky. However, we can quickly fix that. Command Z to undo. And I'm going to leave my hearts active again. Let's go back into our brushes and back into shape dynamics. Right here under angle jitter, 
we currently have the control for angle jitter set to off. I want to make this direction. That's what's going to make this brush work correctly. So choose direction. And then I'm going to close that up and I'm going to hit my little icon again, turn off my hearts, and this time it looks great. I'm going to go ahead and add a layer style back in my layers. I'm going to add a style. I want to do a color overlay. Let's make it red, but not quite bright red. I'll make it a nice dark red. I'm going to zoom in a little bit while we're in here. To zoom in while you actually have the Styles dialog box up, you want to hold down the space bar and the Command or the Control key to be able to zoom in. And then we can go ahead and add a drop shadow. I want to decrease the opacity, and I don't want it that big. I'm going to decrease the distance. Oh, I need the opacity a little higher than that so we can actually see it. Maybe about 60% increase the distance to about three bevel and emboss don't need all the shiny stuff so let's go ahead and reduce our screen opacity because threads are not shiny and we'll decrease the size just a little bit about a three that looks pretty good I'm going to click OK and I'm going to double click on our hand tool so that you can see it let's just double click the zoom tool so you can see hundred percent and that is our denim patch.